Human beings are weird creatures because we're much more activated by having an aim and moving towards it than we are by attainment. And what that means is you have to have an aim and that means you have to have an interpretation. And it also means that the nobler the aim, that's one way of thinking about it, the better your life. And that's a really interesting thing to know because you know, you've heard ever since you were tiny that you should act like a good person. And you shouldn't lie, for example. And you might think, well, why the hell should I act like a good person and why not lie? I mean, even a three-year-old can ask that question because smart, smart kids learn to lie earlier, by the way. And they, they think, well, why not twist the fabric of reality so that it serves your specific short-term needs? I mean, that's a great question. Why not do that? Why act morally? If you can get away with something and it, it brings you closer to something you want, well, why not do it? These are good questions. It's not self-evident. Well, it seems to me tied in with what I just mentioned. It's like you destabilize yourself and things become chaotic. That's not good. And if you don't have a noble aim, then you have nothing but, but shallow, trivial pleasures, and they don't sustain you. And that's not good because because life is so difficult, so much, it's so much suffering, it's so complex, it ends and everyone dies and it's painful. It's like without a noble aim, how can you withstand any of that? You can't, you become desperate. And once you become desperate, things go, things go from bad to worse very rapidly when you become desperate. And so there's the idea of the noble aim and it's, it's not something, it's, it's something that's necessary. It's the bread that people cannot live without, right? That's not physical bread, it's the noble aim. And what is that? Well, it was encapsulated in part in the story of Marta. That's, that's, it's to pay attention, it's to speak properly, it's to confront chaos, it's to make a better world, it's something like that. And that's enough of a noble aim so that you can stand up without you know, cringing at the very thought of your own existence so that you can do something that's worthwhile to justify your wretched position on the planet. Jordan Peterson's discussion on the necessity of a noble aim in life touches on a profound truth about human nature. Studies in psychology, such as those by Viktor Frankl, demonstrate that having a purpose is crucial for mental well-being. Frankel's work with Holocaust survivors revealed that those who had a purpose, even in the direst circumstances, were more resilient and mentally stable. This aligns with Nietzsche's philosophy of will to power, where striving toward an ideal or goal gives life meaning, regardless of the hardships faced. Peterson's point about the destabilizing effects of lacking a noble aim is crucial. Without a purpose, we risk falling into nihilism, where life feels meaningless and trivial pleasures offer no real fulfillment. He suggests that this can lead to desperation, a state where poor decisions are made, worsening one's situation. Peterson's emphasis on a noble aim as bread that sustains us is a compelling metaphor. It's a reminder that while life is undeniably harsh, aiming high provides the necessary strength to endure and create meaning in a chaotic world.